Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Wipe it off. Been scratching on it and everything. It won't come off. <laughs> March is Women's History Month, and last year the U.S. Congress designated March as a month to celebrate the role of women in shaping their country. Here is a sample. Uh, a sample, I gave you a trivia question a while ago, of some of the landmark roles in USA history. Like Victoria Woodhull. She was born in 1838. She became the first woman to run for president of the United States. Remember that, because it may just be a trivia question. Mm -hmm. And Patsy, uh, I hope I got this right. Takamoto. Takamoto Mink was the first Asian American woman who elected, who was elected to the U.S. Congress representing Hawaii. She served from 1965 to 77. There are many, many more here. She campaigned like a mink. She, she sure did. And we're asking one about Mary Catherine Goddard. What was her landmark role, her landmark contribution as a woman in America in shaping this country? She apparently did a lot of things, but this was the most important thing she did in, in again, doing something that uh, stands even today. We'll put it that way. Exactly. <laughs> this is the show that displays the squeal of good house creeping at 13 past 7 o'clock. Open up that, the sunroof there. It looks like, well, it looks pretty nice outside. Oh. We've got partly sunny and warm through tomorrow. That's right, with a high up to about 77 degrees this afternoon. Back down to a low 55 tonight, uh, and this is the Q-Zoo. With one convenient location. It's alive! We're going to be talking about Proposition 32. I guess that's what you call it. I don't know if it's a referendum or a proposition. It just says 32, and the advertisements in the paper just says vote 32, vote yes for 32, and we got some guests here to represent both sides. We'll kind of let them take over the forum, as a matter of fact. This morning, uh, uh, a lot of people, I guess, uh, get tired of our comment. You've got a personal interest in this, and that's exactly what we're talking about on the radio. Mm -hmm. I've got a personal interest as a citizen, but I've got, I also have a microphone button here. There there you go. We got that button. We paid for it, so That's right. it's ours. <laughs> That's right. So we'll be talking about that in a couple of seconds here. Gary Hart says he's going to hang on to the presidential battle regardless of... Oh, you're kidding. No campaign committee, no money. He Gary Hart concedes his Democratic presidential campaign is underfunded and has little momentum, but he predicts he can still win some delegates if voters are interested in the issues. What's he going to do with them? <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed with him, I guess. <laughs> I really don't know. What do you want delegates for? We got the ballot of Gary Hart coming up here, which will fortify his campaign, I'm sure. The following is a presentation of Kuzu Do Deal Films. He's the man all of America loves to laugh at. Let's let the people decide. I'm back in the race. <laughs> And now he's back for more big laughs in Gary Part 2. I don't have a national headquarters or staff. I don't have any money. Gary Part 2, the campaign comedy continues. If you're looking to be entertained, you go see this movie. I was laughing. Hysterical. I was. See Gary Part 2, a matching funds production. Rated R, candidates under rice, not permitted. The diaper scene was hysterical. Now, Jack, usually in a hurry, Harris, and I'll tell you one of the things I really like about First Florida Bank. First Florida Bank is ready when I am. Like, you can bank throughout the Bay Area on Saturday if that's more convenient. Not just with a machine, but with people. The same kind of service on Saturday you get Monday through Friday. Or how about the drive through cash machines in Brandon and Carrollwood? You don't even have to get out of the car. Or the fact that First Florida has all the things you need and want from a bank, which means you do all your banking in one place at one time, and that's convenient. I reckon that's what it's all about. First Florida wants to make your banking as convenient for you as they possibly can. And, of course, there are over 75 First Florida offices within the sound of my voice, which means there's one near you, and that's convenience. By the way, I can't tell you all the details now, but First Florida Bank is going to be offering an exciting new product soon. The best banking deal in town by a long shot, but I can't tell you till April, so stay tuned. First Florida Bank. Hey, Florida's our middle name. Q-Zoo. Woof. Hey, it's your dog. You know, your best friend. Now, I know you don't hear from me that often, but I got something I need to tell you. Henny Pen Pet Food is changing its name to Twin Pet. Twin Pet. Say it with me. Twin Pet. Got it? Good. Now, get some. You see, Henny Pen, I mean Twin Pet, has been a personal favorite of dogs for years. Each can contains a 100% nutritionally complete meal. And if that isn't enough to get you to bring some home, how about this? Henny Pen, soon to be what? Twin Pet, right, is one of the Southeast's most popular brands of pet food. So next time you're getting me my next meal, which I do appreciate, thank you very much, get me some Twin Pet. That's all. No big deal. It's just a friendly little suggestion from your best friend. Oh, by the way, if all you have is a cat, then think of me as smaller with an attitude. <laughs> Look for the coupon in your newspaper for a free can of Twin Pet dog food or cat food. A mascara rich with conditioners is smart. A mascara that makes lashes the thickest is beautiful. Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. What big eyes you have. 
great last conditions. Pump it up as it thickens. Unleash those lashes for the biggest, thickest lashes ever. Wow! wow. Great lash mascara, the one in the pink and green. Smart, beautiful. Happy Wilbur. Happy Wilbur. Wilbur. This is Traffic Gather at 17 minutes past 7. Nancy, what's going on? Long line. Happily Mahogany motorists on Gun Highway coming up to Limebaugh. The intersection was closed for road work from 10 a.m. last night till 6 a.m. This morning, 10 p.m., I should say. It has been open, but you'd never know. A traffic southbound on Gun Highway is lined up past the entrance to Plantation. I'm going to estimate that it's going to take you at least 20 to 25 minutes to make it through the light. Dale Mabry traffic is a little, little bit lighter, possibly as a result of this. Southbound traffic is stacked up only as far back as about Lake Carroll Wayne for a Monday morning. That's really not too bad. Had a problem at Green and Howard. That's just to the north of 275. An injury accident has pretty much cleared the intersection, but there's still a lot of emergency activity there. And if some sort of problem on the easternmost exit off of Harbor Island, there's a whole line of cars in the right-hand Lane. Nobody is able to get off the island. Pat Shores, the Bill Curry courtesy man, is going to check into that for us. In the meantime, Chuck Bear has what's happening on the Bay Area Bridges. Not a problem on the eastbound Howard Franklin that had that closed, but it has been reopened. The uh, breakdown has been moved off now. You're still going to find it a little bit slow in the eastbound lanes on a Franklin, but uh, both sides are moving well again. Candy, Courtney, Campbell, and Sunshine all looking good this morning in Arch Steel telling about Pinellas County. The usual line of traffic you might expect on useless 19. There's a problem you might look out for today. Nursery and Highlands, that intersection is going to be closed between uh, there and Highland, between Lake and Highland, from 8 a.m. today until 4 p.m. on Wednesday. So plan an alternate route. Overhead arch deal for the Tire Kingdom Gold Patrol. Leland, Leland, Jack, Harris, and friends on the Hugh is doing a morning, Taylor Dan, 23 minutes past 7 o'clock. Leave it in Jack on the radio here, and it looks like a stamp is catching up to where gas used to be per gallon about 15 years ago. Oh, boy, isn't that the truth? 25 Ooh. cents for a stamp here. It's been passed as of Friday, mm. so get ready for that one. Also, uh, the union representing scriptwriters rejected a final contract offer by negotiators for TV and movie producers Sunday and called a strike beginning today. The strike involves all writers of motion pictures and television shows, with the exception of news writers. So that means that when you're watching your soap operas, today. If they stop in the middle of a line and start to make up stuff, you'll understand why. <laughs> well, your eyes are like liquid fools. Your hair, it shines in the sunlight. Your face is like toast. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have to think of some That's unique things to say. Yeah, yes. There's a clue right there. <laughs> hey, I want to go back to that stamp thing. That really makes me mad that they don't yeah. give you a long period of time to get ready for it because now you got to run out and buy all those three cent stamps to go with your twenty two cent stamps, <laughs> and eventually you're going to have a bunch of three cent stamps you can't use. That happens every at time. At least, at least when you put a quarter into a stamp machine, now you can buy a stamp for a quarter. Yeah, can't you? Yep. That's or right. can you? No, well, or will they put a quarter in a nickel? They'll yeah, probably do that. Nickel, nickel, they make some money somewhere. Yeah. Twenty four past seven o'clock. We got two very special. Actually, we have four special guests in the studio this morning here yeah. to talk about something that we brought up um, Friday. And I hadn't seen too much information about it in the newspaper. Now I see more information than I've ever seen in the peninsula sections, the northwest sections, and I don't know if, I guess the newspaper says, so this particular writer says it's attributed to uh, the comments on the uh, Friday radio program mm -hmm. on WRBQ. Uh, normally a slap-happy program, but normally, uh, got serious for a few minutes on yes, Friday. Yes, we did. Uh, I want to clarify first whether this is called Proposition 32, whether it's called Referendum 32, or what it is, because it kind of snuck past me. Most of the information did. And we have John Hegney with us who represents uh, the pro side of 32. The folks trying to get a past. And, yeah. uh, John, it is called Proposition 32. Am I right about that? Uh, no. Uh, I didn't think I was <laughs> right about that. That's why I wanted you to clear it up for us. Basically, it's, uh, it's a referendum. Um, it's a referendum uh, to uh, establish a uh, water and wastewater utilities authority. Uh, basically, uh, what that is is a uh, uh, a water and sewer authority in, in layman's terms um, to oversee uh, operation of the uh, of the county uh, water and sewer system. So basically, all this would do, if it were to pass, would to create such an authority with four people to be appointed by the governor and then one member of the Hillsborough County Commission also to serve on it. Would it do anything beyond that? Uh, basically, it would take over. Uh, the role currently played by the uh, by the county commission uh, in one respect, and that's uh, to supervise uh, long range planning and basically the the uh, overall direction uh, that the county utility system is taking. 
And beyond that, though, uh, it would take over for 70,000 customers in rural Hillsborough County, right outside the city. Yes, it, it, it only involves uh, unincorporated Hillsborough County. And okay. the employee of some 450 people uh, also would be involved here. Yes. If some folks are listening right now in other counties. They say, well, this, this, this is going to kind of bore me because this doesn't apply to me. It may very well apply to you because mm-hmm. the growth rate around uh, Hillsborough County, Pinellas County, of course, Pasco County included, and uh, counties probably in three or four counties of us in either direction, north, south, east, west, oh, can't go too far west, but uh, are going to have very much the same problems that we have if they're mismanaged mm-hmm. and if they grow too fast. Uh, this is why I guess we're looking at this uh, this particular proposition or referendum right now. Is it not, John? Yes. Uh, let's begin by telling everybody out there what kind of major problems we have in this county with sewage to begin with. John? John? Well, um, I, I think probably uh, the, the one most recent uh, occurrence that points up, uh, I think, most effectively the, the, the overall problems uh, being faced in Hillsborough County occurred uh, at uh, the...